Is the US government trying to secretly ban cryptocurrency right now? That's exactly what we're gonna be talking about in this video because we have had some big escalations happening in the crypto market, got to do with Paxos, got to do with the SEC, got to do with Kraken. And we're also gonna be taking a look at the crypto prices and what else you need to know in the crypto market today. So if you guys like staying fully up to date, smash the thumbs up button and let's get straight into this video. So guys, there is a big narrative going around right now that potentially Essentially, the US government through the SEC uh, is looking to really, really start to clamp down on crypto just recently. So you can see this big article from Forbes right here. But uh, what's important to understand is it said right here, now the Biden administration has been accused of trying to quietly ban Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other cryptocurrencies and move that has been described as Operation Choke Point 2.0, referring to a 2013 government initiative that sought to cut off undesirable industries from the banking sector. So the government wants to keep the banking sector at the top of the financial world. And that is what they tried to do in 2013. And right now there is a big crackdown happening. We're gonna stay right on top of it. You can see this picture of Biden and the Biden administration last month warned it would be a grave mistake to allow ties between Bitcoin, Ethereum, and cryptocurrencies to deepen ties to the broader financial system. So potentially, is Joe Biden, is the US government trying to basically keep crypto out of the big financial markets? That is kind of what is being discussed. And uh, what else is really important to understand is we have had some big news just recently. And it, ha and it says right here, last month, the Federal Reserve rejected crypto bank custodius application to join its ranks, casting doubt over where the office of the Comptroller of the currency will give final approval to crypto companies protege and Paxos's application for national trust bank charters and we actually have a very big update on Paxos so check this out stablecoin issuer Paxos is being investigated by New York regulator and it's unclear what exactly the scope of the investigation is uh, relating to but what you do need to understand is that Paxos it's very strongly connected to the stablecoin Binance US dollar BUSD. So this is a stablecoin I personally use in the market. And you can actually see BUSD, it's pretty high up in the charts. It's this stablecoin right here. And you can see this update as well. There is a rumor going around the US office of the controller of the currency, a federal bank regulator may ask it to withdraw its application for a full banking charter. Paxos has denied the rumors, but this is the word out on the crypto street right now. So this impacts uh, BUSD right here. It impacts also Binance.com. So you guys know just recently, Binance did come out saying, you know, they were having troubles with uh, US dollar transfers for global customers. Was this related to what's going on with Paxos right now? Not exactly sure, but this is the latest intel we, we have coming out of the crypto market. On top of that, we've also had some other massive escalations happening in the crypto market. This time, Gary Gensler, he's coming out making videos about staking as a service. So he is cracking down on big centralized exchanges offering staking so you guys know some crypto exchanges out there you can stake your crypto earn some passive rewards uh, but SEC governor Gary Gensler has basically charged Kraken with unregistered uh, sales of security through its staking as a service and what's happened here is uh, Kraken has also paid a $30 million fine and it's going to shut down its crypto staking service. So the SEC is definitely causing massive waves in the crypto market right now. And Kraken has bent the knee to the SEC. So they have shut it down, staking as a service. And this is gonna impact the rest of the crypto centralized exchanges as well. So they're gonna be paying attention to what's happened with Kraken. They're gonna be thinking about the SEC. Do they wanna get fined? What's going on? But this is uh, just some news. And again, is this coming back to this overall narrative of uh, the US government kind of trying to quietly, secretly crack down on the crypto market right now? But uh, that is another big update we've had just recently. So staking in the crosshairs of the SEC right now, Kraken is removing staking. And you can see right here, a lot of the crypto community people out there are saying, um, you know, Gary Gensler, agent of an anti-crypto agenda. So guys, comment down below. Do you reckon Gary Gensler is trying 
trying to secretly shut down crypto? Let me know in the comment section below. But again, Kraken, one of the first dominoes to fall in this situation. And uh, is it a part of a broader kind of narrative that is happening in the market right now? And you can see what Adam Cochran is saying over here on Twitter. And he says, so the SEC got buddy buddy with SBF and almost gave them an exception to move more services in the US, but then goes after Kraken and Coinbase, the two most compliant US exchanges for services that the SEC previously refused to provide guidance on. Gensler is not a regulator. He is an agent of an anti-crypto agenda who only aims to wield his power as a cudgel for those he doesn't agree with. So the big question then is, why didn't FTX get this treatment? Whose pocket is he in? So Adam casting massive shade on Gary Gensler right now. And I have to say, you know, I think honestly, and this is the Crypto Zeus secret analysis, um, I do think there is a lot of anti-crypto agenda uh, coming out of the US right now. And uh, I think if these guys were serious about, you know, supporting innovation in the cryptocurrency market and actually being, you know, wanting it to succeed, they wouldn't be having all these really old, you know, banking laws, you know, trying to apply that to crypto. They would actually set a completely new set of regulations in the crypto market because crypto is completely different to the old school style of uh, traditional banking investing and share market investing. And of course, it does come with that risk. And I know a lot of you guys tuned in the channel, you guys know that, but it's completely different. So there should be a completely completely different set of laws. And that's what the US government should be working on. I'm not trying to force a triangle through a square right now. And that's kind of what it appears the US government and the SEC is trying to do in the crypto space right now. And guys, let's talk about the crypto prices. So what's been the impact of everything I just spoke to you guys about in the crypto market? And we have to kick off with Bitcoin's price. And you can see right here in the last seven days, there has been those jitters coming into the crypto market about this regulation. You can see it kind of go down from 23,000 down to around you know, 21,800. So not a massive plummet at all, uh, but definitely a bit annoying because we were getting some bullish momentum in the crypto market. You guys can see those gains that have been happening over the last month or even last three months. If we zoom out right here, you know, we're, we're on a winning streak right here. We're feeling good in the crypto market. And then uh, all this uh, recent FUD has come out. So Bitcoin slightly retracing. We'll keep an eye out for Binance. What's going to be the impact on Binance USD, Binance Exchange as well. A lot of the other crypto prices, they are down in the red today. So a lot of crypto in the red. But again, I'm not too worried about this bullish on crypto in the long run. And if we check out the AI cryptos today, they are retracing a bit as well. So still retracing in the AI sector. But I do think AI is definitely going to revolutionize the crypto market. And what are some other cryptos doing in the market today? So SHIB down 6.6% and uh, Luna Classic down 8.4%. But guys, that is a big update. That's exactly what you need to know in the crypto market. Some shadows getting cast on the market. Hope you guys enjoyed the update. If you guys like the channel and you want to get some free bonuses, you get some free bonuses on Mac Maxi, KuCoin, Binance right there, discounts on NordVPN, cold storage wallet, and a lot of other exciting things, including some free crypto tips right there. But guys, appreciate you watching the video. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Crypto Zeus signing out.